Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy. I am Mr. Foresight. For those of you who might be stopping in for the first time, hey, I would like to thank all of my new subscribers for uh, signing up. And I um, ask that you make sure that you hit your bell notification so that you know uh, when I make a video. Uh, what I plan to do here, uh, going up to the, uh, as we near in on the, um, on this, uh, bull run and this, uh, Bitcoin having, I'm going to try to cover, um, <clears throat> different tokens, a lot of different tokens out there that I might not necessarily hold. One of them I'm going to cover today, but, um, I'm going to cover, uh, tokens maybe that I don't hold or tokens that some of you guys down in the, um, comments section, have uh, talked about and I'm gonna see what their value is like and uh, just give you my overall opinion and if I think it's uh, worth your time uh, but you know as always make sure you do your own uh, research um, I, I just have an opinion um, and again these are not gonna be some of these might not they might be tokens I don't have and I'll be upfront and let you know if I hold them or not <clears throat> Um, thank you though, uh, guys, for the new subscribers. Uh, hit that bell notification so that you know uh, when I do a video. And now let's start this day off right uh, with my affirmation: To manifest wealth, I put into action the required wisdom. Now you guys already know how serious I am about that. That's my daily mantra. Um, and if you you are here today and you're watching this video regardless what time it is you're putting into action that required wisdom so with that said let me quit running my mouth and get on with the video all right guys welcome all right guys we're gonna talk about brett brett's been getting a lot of fire <clears throat> lately and um i actually had a, a community member <clears throat> mention um mention this in the uh, comments he and I went back and forth for a minute, you know, just talking about this. And I was telling him my opinion on um, <clears throat> selling some of, uh, gaining some of the profits from Aerodrome and going off into uh, Brett. Uh, well, and I'll, and I'll make that public right here. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not selling any, any of my Aerodrome yet because I uh, feel like it's just starting. So you might have some profits in it, and it's always good to take your profits or maybe pull out your uh, initial investment at least, but I still think it's too soon right now. I would hate for anyone to take out them gains, and again, this is not uh, financial advice, but I would hate to take out some gains that I just got, and it still got some uh, run-up to go, especially right now, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about Brett. Now, Brett is a meme coin. It is a meme coin, and I'm and I'm looking into, in, in, into Brett. I do not own any Brett. I used to own some Pepe. And the story of these two, they're best friends, uh, Brett and Pepe. Uh, this particular token has to be, it's decentralized. So you have to buy it on a, either a Coinbase wallet, uh, Uniswap, Metamask, those type of wallets. That's how you would get it. You can come down here and... Um, look into some of the ways you can uh buy it of course you can buy it on um base i believe yeah i believe yep you can buy it on uh base and look at that you'd have to get rid of some of your arrow tokens i'm not ready for that but um yeah look at it i mean it's at eight cent it's a meme coin and it's only been out this token has been out i don't even think it's been out a month has it it's been out since march 11th yeah, so just at a month, just at a month, and and look at that, it's just going up. There's no way to explain why meme coins do what they do. Pretty sure this one, it just happens to be one of the meme coins that's riding up with um, Pepe, his best friend. It's all a party, right? Um, but let's let's continue looking here. They got a uh, ten million. What is this? Uh, ten. Oh, excuse me, ten billion max supply. With a uh, total supply, they're almost pretty much, uh, what is it, eight and a half billion of the total supply and their max supply is circulating. So it's out there. Uh, we'll go over and check out their website too. Uh, look at that market cap. My goodness. Okay, so it, it's, it's going to reach a billion 
market cap here soon. And I'm thinking with the Bitcoin having coming up, it is going to pump. It is going to pump. Uh, let's look at the seven day. Seven day, it's been pretty steady. Pretty steady. Okay. It's been pretty steady these last uh, seven days. I still don't think it's had its mass of uh, retracement yet, though. Let's go back to the all time first. And let's go over here. So, ever since it came out, so if you have got in back here when it came out, you'd have got in for what, three cents or so. So, here for a while there, toward the end of March, you, man, so there's people sitting on some mean gains. Okay, so it's just been going up from here. And it's not just been a, just a really just straight to the moon up. It's, it's been going up and going across. Okay, so what I'm looking at here, if you're going to get into a token like this, first off, know your risk. It, tokens like this don't have an, an, any utility, but you remember what I said about meme tokens. Um, that's not to say they, they won't ever get any. I want to see where this one fall at, though. I want to see something here. Brett. And it's number 215. Um, so that's not bad either. That's not bad either. Uh, how far can it run? It all depends. It looks like this seems to be the darling now of um, the meme tokens. Uh, let's look over. Let's pop over to their Twitter. I think I was on here today anyway. Hold on. I was on their Twitter. Uh, 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 wasn't I? Uh, let's go back. All right, here we go. Let's click on their Twitter. And they're starting to build a following. 38,000 uh, uh, followers. And here you can learn about Brett right here. Let me play this quick video for you guys. All right. I mean, the first time I actually named him Pepe was for this comic that I did called Playtime. I was just messing around with Microsoft Paint and came up with Pepe and Brett, two characters. They did things like go to raves and paint. It just kind of naturally developed. And then I just thought it would be fun to have four characters, kind of like the Ninja Turtles. It became Boys Club. A lot of the humor is kind of about post college zone. You don't quite know what you're doing, but you like drinking and hanging out. The four characters were just reflections of my personality and the personality of my friends. Land Wolf, the party dog. Andy was the jokester of the group. Brad liked to dance. And then Pepe the Frog was just kind of like the little brother of the group. I mean, the first time I actually. All right, there you go. And you can see right there where uh, Pepe came from. That's the creator. Uh, so let's look at the, their posts. And again, we all know how the meme tokens work. It's all about the community. We control the meme coins' destinies. Look at this. They're on it. They're on it. I mean, all you see is posts. And this is this is actually good. This is actually good. This is actually this is not a bad thing at all that you see this many posts. 60,000 uh, plus strong holders. So the question is, you know, have you missed a boat? Because my, my only issue, and this is just my opinion, when I when I see tokens like this, and you know, I do, ha I hold some meme tokens, this is not one of them, but when I see tokens like this, all first question I ask myself, I say, have I missed it? Have I missed it? I believe that, you could get in some <clears throat> meme tokens and totally get in at the wrong time. You can get in after it's the ran up and it's the ran up as far as it's going to go. But with this one being so new, with this one, with this token being so new, it's really, uh, it's really hard to tell. Well, I, do I think it's done? I don't think it's over. I think it's, it's, it's much too new for it to be uh the final run for it i'm not gonna say it's going to hit a dollar but who knows with this kind of stuff okay is there money to be made in it yes i i will say that i i do believe uh you can make a nice bit of money in this but don't sacrifice 
some of your the, the plays, and this is just how I feel. Don't don't sacrifice your main bag to get in something like this, unless of course, unless you want to get rid of some of your gains. Uh, it's a bunch of boxes I have to check off first. I have to say, okay, I'm about to uh, take some gains. Am I taking too early from these gains? You know, or another good um, thing you could do, you could look at your bags and you can say, which one of these I don't really have any conviction in? Which one of these I just, I really don't care about? Even if this token was to go up, who, who cares? I know it's not going to go up monumental and make me the kind of money I want. And then based on that, you could say, okay, I'm going to take, I'll take some of that. I'll take some of these gains and I'll I'll put them in a bread. And I wouldn't do it right now. That's another question. That's another thing too. I wouldn't take it and put it in here right now unless let's see. It's consolidating. Uh it's been doing this for the last seven days. So what's done for the last day? See, eh, I would wait for a pullback. I think considering what's coming uh i think we this this particular token is due for a, a pretty big pullback will it drop below um where it was at very doubtful but let me see all-time high for this token yeah eight cents so it's at its all-time high so personally me and not financial advice i would wait for a pullback maybe two cent maybe a pull, two cent pullback uh, something like that. Let's go check out their uh, website. Uh, uh, where is it at? I was just on here. Let's go to the website. Check that out right quick. All right, here it is. I just think this is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. But again, that's that. It's kind of cool. And here you can actually. This is the token address. When you guys are, especially when you have a popular token like this, you have to be extremely careful because you got a lot of scammers out there that's going to try to scam you, um, and they're gonna create like a Brett two point oh, a, a a Brett Weeble or something like that. You're gonna see a lot of Bretts. So always make sure that when you get a token like this, you you are sure by getting the the correct contract uh, address and you can get that over on on um, coin market cap where we just were and you can get it here also and then you can plug that in when you go to buy it decentralized and so you'll just know that you're buying the correct token okay and these are the places you can buy it i like the website i got to say i, I do like the website it's colorful it's fun and it's not so serious so that's another uh great thing too uh, they got a Telegram page. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The contract is renounced. That is also great. There's no one to fudge you. and I mean, no one to just uh, rug pull you and take your uh, money. 85% uh, 85 85 liquidity uh, pool. Uh, that's just great, which could mean that you're, um, you can buy and sell with no problems at all because they got a lot of liquidity based on uh, how much their uh, token is right now. It's no wonder. Ten percent locked in um, treasury, five percent uh, central exchange uh, wallet. This is this is pretty good tokenomics. Uh, utility. All right, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Utility. Strong partnerships. Brent has forged strategic partnerships with leading companies in the crypto space, which will help to ensure the project's long-term viability and growth. Growing ecosystem. See, they don't tell me what companies, uh, if they got a, well, this is probably what their white paper is. Growing ecosystem. The base chain, and again, it's on base. You can't go wrong with base. So that's another cool thing. And, uh, base is where Aerodrome lives. So you, that's why you can switch or swap it with base. Uh, growing ecosystem. Okay, strong community support which is this right here is the apex right here strong community support with it being a uh, meme token strong partnerships well if you're on base you, you get no better than that which is coinbase and all of that uh contract based brent so again uh this is this is one of those where if you got a little bit of money <clears throat> that you don't mind parting with you do it i will pull the trigger 
uh, <clears throat> on something like this. If uh, but it depends. It always depends on your financial situation and and the money that you put in. If it does go to zero or you don't make anything on it, you actually lose money. You're okay with that. But um, I don't actually see anything wrong with it. This is actually one of the stronger um, tokens, uh, meme tokens I've laid eyes on. Puts it up there. Uh, but eight cent, yeah, yeah. But I'll wait for a uh, pullback. But that's that's my uh, feelings on uh, Brett. Uh, I do not hold it. Will I? It depends. Like I'm going to put this one on my checklist as and see what it does at a pullback. And I know some of you don't get so excited that you say, well, what if it doesn't pull back and it hits 50 cent? You know, that's the, that's the risk you want, you run. But me, I, you know, I'll wait. I'll wait and see what kind of pullback it's going to do and to see how strong this community really is. But that's my take on Brent, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. All right.